so today i'm going to be showing you guys this transformation i did within three hours it's quarantine edition and my mom just freaking flushed the toilet messed up my intro skin prep time and first off first i'm going to be using this coffee scrub that i just added some turmeric in for lightening the skin the properties i'm going to be using that you can watch that video see how to do that I have my soap bronner. I'm gonna be first going in with the scrub on my face, then with the bronner together to like rub the scrub off. And then we have skin. Next, I'm gonna be using some coconut. Okay, we still wiping my face. Oh, there we go. Coconut oil. We'll be using a little coconut oil to moisturize the face. You wanna wash your sink right afterwards and brush your teeth because red lips look better with white teeth. Hair time. So we are uh, we have some old hair here, you know, it's very old. I just got my ends trimmed, but we're gonna make it work and it's time to revert it anyway. So I think we're gonna be wearing it in a bun today. As you see, I'm very indecisive on what I was gonna do. But your girl, you know, we getting there. We 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 getting there. We got our gorilla snot, and like I said, we getting there. This hairstyle looked that horrible makeup time so i'm trying to do something natural but leave it up to me to end up you know complicated you know so first thing first i'm gonna start off with my fun then immediately afterwards i'm gonna go into this like skin color kind of light color and i'm just gonna pack it Now to blend that color up and like to also set the top, I'm gonna take this yellow color. Now I'm gonna take the same brush and dip into these two like brown, but like very red colors. I'm gonna mostly just put it right there in our crease. I'm gonna go in with that same brush and that same yellow color and just blend the top. So I'm just back and forth blending. So lastly but not least, we're gonna go into this brown color in the Zuvia Place palette and also a little bit of this brown in the Morphe palette before. And then I'm going right back into those nice, I don't know which color, like brown mom color. I know it's like we to pipe the eye up a little bit in my like, like, like So we're gonna go right back in the yellow color and like blend. So it's just like a game of blending for real. And now last but not least, I'm gonna go in with this um, really golden color. It's called Kuro from Julius Palette Place. Palette, palette Place. And for some reason, it just didn't look like this eye yet. And that's just because the lashes really set this look off. Like, I think we have to be more appreciative of lashes because they really set any look off. Like, you gotta appreciate the lash. Hurry it, period. So now I'm gonna do the impossible and try to put my lashes on, on camera. <gasps> I'm real retarded, so I can't really put my lash on on camera, y'all. Because I'm real retarded, my D, okay? 
and that's my business. So today we're really gonna focus on the face because for this red lip, you really wanna focus on the face. We don't wanna do too much with the eyes. But like I told y'all, leave it up to me. I have to do the extra, but that's my business. And you don't have to do the extra because it's your business. But if you kind of look at this, it might be some of your business. So you wanna blow on this. All right, so first thing first, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty matte, um, matte the fire. Oh, can't forget my handy dandy foundation brush. I love that foundation brush. Let me see. Oh. Here it goes. My foundation brush just makes sure I have an even coat of everything. Mix, 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 mix. What I'm gonna use now is the place. I barely even show you. Mix, 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 mix. You wanna get around your mouth really good to cover any spots, the dark spots, because when wearing red lipstick, the last thing you want is blemishes around your lips to make it not look good like red lipstick just just does not look good with blemishes so if you didn't watch my natural routine my natural makeup routine video then you won't know that i'm using nars taiho sheer glow as my concealer. So it's actually a foundation, but I'm using it as a concealer. <laughs> I, I'm looking down because my mirror is down here. I gotta stop. Now we're gonna get Baby Beauty Bender and we're gonna be taking her. Oh my God, did we just forget about this other thing? Yeah. Oh, Baby Beauty Bender. I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna let her dry just a little bit more. Okay. So immediately afterwards, I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup in Kat Von D translucent. I already have it pre-mixed in here. And I'm basically just gonna do my last minute touch up to make sure nothing creases. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that. And I like to do it like that. Put it on the back of my hand a couple times. And go ahead and see it. Now I'm gonna go in with my Fit Me 355 Coconut Powder. And I'm just gonna go around. Oh my God, y'all. I just noticed, like I need something on my eyes. We're gonna go back and do it real quick. I'm gonna go back into that coral color and I gotta put it on my eyes more here. Like that, we're just gonna take the look off even more. Oh, we forgot. We have to go back. So now we're gonna go into my favorite contour palette and this is the True Complexion Black Radiance one and I just love this. I'm gonna be mixing the sculpt and the contour palette, the, the colors together.
my eyes and things were burning like that. All right, now last but not least, um, I was contemplating on what highlight I wanted to use. I, really? I originally wanted to use the K-pop highlighter, but I love this coral. coral. Yeah. See, it's giving me them vibes I thought it was gonna give me. So now I'm gonna be taking those brown colors from earlier. And I'm gonna be going underneath my eyes so quick little trick beauty blender and then go down for when you want to like smudge out your under eye my eyes so yeah that's how you do it okay. okay now this is where we have to finesse the finesse next next because so y'all i got the wrong color red and it was not working out for you, girl. Um, I was trying to figure out ways to finesse it. So I got this dark brown by Ruby Kiss. Yes, Ruby Kiss. And we're gonna start off with her. So this is what we're gonna do. Ooh. Well, we're gonna do this. And now we're gonna take this pitiful red, um, where is it? This pitiful NYX red suede liner. And I'll put them in the middle. Okay, I know I look real crazy right now. I don't know what's going on with right now. So now I'm gonna go with this Rich Ruby 691. This saved my life. I forgot I even had this in here. This is a uh, good old Maybelline, you know, Shane. Boom. Now you can ask for more brown lip liner if you need to. Do I need to? Mm, just a little bit. Just to give it a little definition. You know what she ain't not gonna go in. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. A little definition. Boom. Now you see how that thing gave this some definition. You see? You know what I'm saying? Now, last but not least. Period, fools. We are done. This is our face. Our hair, you know what I'm saying? It didn't come out the best, but this was like my hair that I had just. I just let out my hair not too long ago, you know what I'm saying? So I had to do that in the bed real quick like that, period. I like this real lip, actually. It's not that bad. I haven't did a real lip in so long, so I thought I was going to hate it. But I actually like it, and I get my contacts tomorrow. So your girl is going to be giving you a new eye color vibes. <laughs> I just crossed my eyes. Anyway, my eyes are really irritated, so. Bye. I'm a rock star.